Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic and this month is all about games and my amazing 65th co-host taught me how to make my own game using Coding Online. Now, if you're like me as a leader and you're really struggling to figure out how to do like a digital creator patch, um, Joe taught me how to do scratch coding, which is online, it's very easy and it's free. And it helps young people to figure out what are the basic things to f uh, like sort of like if statements or how do you make something move on a screen and so on and so forth. It's really fun, it's a great activity and here's how we got on on my 65th episode. You're going to teach me something which is going to be interesting because we're separated by a long distance. You're in Wales and I'm in, um, well, quite a bit of a distance away in England. I know we're side by side Wales and England, but yeah, distance wise. So uh, what are we going to do today? So um, oh, you told me that you wanted to do something about games. Now, um, as you kind of alluded to, um, every time you produce a game, um, Someone has to make that game work. And yeah, you that's really me. asked me to do that. No, 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 so, no, no. It's always me. Oh, sorry, sorry. You, yeah, you and Oggy always do it. Yeah. Um, but no I just wanted else. to show you another way that you might be able to um, make some games, and that the people at home could make their own games. Okay. So what do we need to do? So um, what you need to do is uh, using Google or your preferred search engine, you need to look up rack. How do you spell that? That is um, S C R A T C H. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Scratch. So, okay. Scratch is a program that was developed by MIT or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Um, that is a way of coding visually. Um, oh, and this okay. is great for young people to learn how to code and kind of get into their heads um, how to code. And it's completely free. Oh, nice. So this this could be a way of doing it for the digital creator, I think it is, badge? Yeah, absolutely. You can use this for your digital creator badge. Oh, brilliant. Um, okay. Right, so start with creating it. Okay. So uh, you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, um, you've got the little cat. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. So if you click on the cat, you can move that around. You can place it in different places. You have to click and drag. Um, uh... But that's not a very fun game, is it? We want him to react when you do something. Right, okay. Assume okay. it's not a hedgehog. You, should we make it a hedgehog? Can so you? Should we make it into a hedgehog? So if you if you click um if you double click on the uh on the sprite. Yeah, there we go. There we go, we can make him a hedgehog. Now you've got a hedgehog. So we will we'll move this hedgehog around. Uh, we're gonna change it in a minute anyway, but we'll get some basics done first. So Okay. On the left hand side you can see it says um event. If you grab uh, when space key is pressed and drag it onto the screen, yeah. So what that done it, it adds a block. So every time you press the space button or every time that event is triggered, something has run, to happen. You know, yeah. So if we go to motion, which is blue at the top, yeah. And we say move ten steps, and drag that and clip it onto the bottom like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, just oh, like okay. that. Okay. Right. So now if you press the space bar on your computer. The little hedgehog will move. <laughs> oh, that's ace. I like that. I was thinking we do Pong. Okay. We try and do yeah. Pong. It's yeah. a nice classic game. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do a version of Pong. There we go. There's a, there's a ball for you. <laughs> After all this time of that hedgehog wanting fame, I'm going to bat around a virtual hedgehog. That's fine with me. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so what do we have all, to do for Pong? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make the, uh, the, the hedgehog bounce around the screen. Right. Okay. So I can, uh, I'm guessing I want to get rid of these, yeah? Uh, yeah. Right. Then, so Go to fine. events. When the green flag is clicked, drag that in. Yeah. Uh, and now you want to go to control. Right. Okay. Um, so you want to put forever. It says forever. Yeah. Drag that in. Yeah. Um, and then inside forever. Yeah. Motion. You want to put motion. That's the one. Yeah. Um, and you want to put um, move ten steps. Right. Okay. 
and drag that inside forever. Yeah. And then underneath that, you want to scroll down in motion. Yeah. And say if on edge bounce. Okay. So now if you press the green flag. What's, oh, there. Right, okay. Yeah, there. <laughs> Sorry. I looked like it flips upside down. <laughs> yeah. It flips upside down. It flips upside down because uh, you, you've just told basically what it does. You, you told it when it reaches spin itself around and point the other direction. What we want to do now is um, we want to do Pong. Right, yes. So, Do we need, move... I'm guessing, more sprites, I'm guessing? We are going to we are going to create another sprite. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to paint a sprite. Oh, so okay. If you hover over, choose a sprite and click paint, yeah. you get this drawing area. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the paddle that you're going to use to bat the ball or the hedgehog. Oh, right, okay. So, to do that, you're just going to draw a rectangle. Yeah, just like that. That's the one. I, I knew you'd make it orange. I knew yeah. you would. It looks great. I love it. So you see where you've selected the sprite um, on the the left, the bottom right hand side. Uh, it says, right. So that's so that's so that will do for the hedgehog there. If yeah. I click on it, and then because I've clicked on this sprite, this now changes. So there's no code whatsoever for this sprite. So now it needs this to. This sprite. Yeah. So you want to go for event first of all. So it will be obviously if I move if I press something, isn't it? Yeah. So when you you want. Uh, let's use the up and down arrows. So when the up arrow is pressed, yeah, you want the uh, you want the motion the... Yeah. would be to move ten. It would be ten steps up, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you know, obviously, the x axis is along the bottom, and the y axis is up and down. So, so you want to change. You want to change y by ten. We go. Hey, look at me! Ooh, perfect. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> Good. So now I'm guessing the hedgehog needs an if statement. It does. It absolutely does. So, so if we go back to the hedgehog, yeah. Um, what we want to do is we want to put a um, we want to put a green flag trigger. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, and then we want to. Add another forever loop because we always want this code to run. Okay. Now we want an if loop. So under the sensing, yeah, we want touching, and then it should say paddle. Uh, paddle. So That's if it. it's touching paddle, it's going to do something different. And it's going to bounce, then hasn't it? So that would okay. be motion. Yes. And then. So what change. we're going to do is we're actually get, we're going to turn it by a random amount each time. So as it kind of bounces off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so now now press your orange, uh, now press the green flag, and intercept the... Oh! No way! I love it! Oh, this is brilliant. This is getting my arm back for... Uh... <laughs> Should we record some scores? Would that be cool? Yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> I want to see if I can win this! <laughs> okay. Um, so go to variables. Uh, variables, yep. And you want to make a variable. Right, okay. Uh, and the variable is going to be called score. For all sprites? Uh, for all sprites, yes. Okay. So now you okay. can see there's a scoreboard up in the top corner. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, nice. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to set a volley, yeah? So count how many times you um you've you've hit it yeah so um you can see it says change my very uh change uh change my variable by one yeah so if we go back to hedgehog uh hedgehog yeah and after, just before it says pick a random pick a random yeah, right we want to put the the change by oh really no because wouldn't it be Oh, so every time it hits it, I get a point. Every time right? it hits, you get a point. Right, okay. And you so. want to set that to score. So now, if we start the game by pressing the green flag... Woohoo! There we go. You should see... Oh. <laughs> Great! Uh, love we know, it, love you work it, find out a way to break the game. So, um... <laughs> oh, no! What? That certainly don't work. There you go, you've got 35 points. 
Yeah, put it in there and, and then... Okay, right. So, here we go. <laughs> I feel like the world is watching me do this now. <laughs> Only a frozen version. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Hey! 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 Oh, 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 hey! Hey, hey! Hey! <laughs> this is almost like Snake. <laughs> I love it. I think that's ace. That is brilliant. Yeah, so there's loads that? of different things you can do with, um, with Scratch. Okay. Um, uh, but that, that was just an example uh, of what you could do. You can come up with loads and loads of different things that can be done using Scratch. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was just an example I thought would be fun to have a go at. That's nice. If you enjoyed that video, then please like and share it around. And consider subscribing. We are at 7,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. I did not expect this to happen so soon this year. We are so close to 7,500, which is the next amazing milestone. So, if you can consider subscribing, scroll down and see if there's a red button that says subscribe and click it. And as Joe says, don't forget to ring the bell as well because then you get notified on these amazing videos to inspire you and get back that spark in scouting. So, I'll see you again soon with all of these. Bye!